my award-winning Traxxas Slash setup. Maybe not award-winning, but pretty legit. First thing, Pro-Line body caps. I hate body clips. They rattle and make too much noise. These are way better. Not very expensive either. And put some Velcro on the inside of the body and on the side of your little rub rails here, your Nerf bars. Keeps the body from flapping around. Next up, Pro-Line Positron tires. Ground down the slicks. Burnt my special sauce in that I make and makes them nice and sticky and they work really good. Pro-Line shocks on all four corners. I was trying the uh, 13 millimeter buggy shocks. They were never gonna work properly. This is the best setup I've ever had on this thing. Uh, I do have AE gray buggy springs on the front and gray buggy springs on the rear. Cheap Hobby Wing Quick Run 120 amp ESC in there, 6200 Factory Extreme Shorty Battery, slid all the way forward, double sided taped in, and I made this Velcro strap just as a secondary precaution in case the tape would fail. I do have the Pro Line transmission in here. The diff is packed with red automotive wheel bearing grease, pretty thick, works good. Hot Bodies red sway bar on the rear. Hot bodies, red sway bar on the front. I use a stock bandit turnbuckle, the plastic, gray plastic piece there. Drilled holes in it, mounted it to the chassis, drilled more holes and mounted the hot racing uh, sway bar mount to that for the front. I actually have some electrical tape in here because that's just genius uh, to keep the bar from sliding side to side. I wrapped it around the middle of the bar. I actually have the links on these pulled in kind of tight and acts as limiting straps. So when the truck is in, going in the air or around bends, it limits how far, it limits how far the wheels can drop down, keeps it planted, thing is dialed. I have a Trinity Rev Tech 13.5 motor in there. I used to have a mod motor in it, it was way too fast. This is kind of the perfect speed for this truck. My lapse transponder, of course. I use a Sanwa radio, so Sanwa receiver. Navox Steel Gear 1267 servo. Aluminum horn is a miscellaneous horn I had laying around. I have the blue tracks of steering components in the front. Currently have the shocks mounted in the third hole out on the rear. Front holes are all the way in, so the shocks are standing up so it does roll over and really gets it some bite. This thing steers better than any truck out there, I think. What else could I tell you about this baby? Oh. Handmade shock towers, homemade, whatever you want to call it. The white part here is actually a cutting board that I bought at Dollar General Store. I'm sure you guys have heard of Dollar General. You probably have five in your neighborhood. Uh, I think we have five or six here. There's like an $8 board. You could probably make about 12 sets out of that thing. Um, I just The front is a copy of the stock one. The rear is a design I come up with on my own. Uh, works really good. You can use shorter shocks. You can lay them out more, get the, get the truck stiffened up. Um, it, it works pretty good. The clips you see of this truck right now, this is the setup that's on it in those clips. RPM front bumper works good. I don't run a rear bumper. I think it's just, I don't think it's necessary. Nobody's ever that close to the back of me to hit me anyways, because this thing is just that dialed. Blue piece here, I had to make this special block to mount this shock tower. Uh, oh, and the rear, the rear sway bar is mounted to the new shock tire I made, but this blue block was kind of tricky to make. There's lots of cuts and angles. Uh, it's, it uses the four mounting holes that the stock one does, the vertical holes. And then I had to cut a groove in it to put the white piece in, and there's grooves this way. And it, it was kind of complex, but uh, it's not real pretty, but it is a prototype and it does work. A lot of you have asked for details on setup on this, so I figured I'd do this video to answer your questions. If you have any more questions, send it to me. I'll do my best to get it answered in a timely fashion. Uh, I'm, I know I'm not the best about answering questions right away, but I do get to them eventually. My wife and kids expect me to spend some time with them once in a while. That's it. Off to go racing tomorrow.